The editorial team would like to send greeting and thank to the various listeners who have always shown interest in accompanying 22 Hours channel. We wish you to have informative moment while watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to always stay updated with the last and most accurate information from our channel. And now, let's move on the last news of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, heavy rains, flash floods continuously hit, causing Chinese media to imply that the Three Gorges Dam was about to burst, and many dikes surrounding the Yangtze River would burst at any time. The headquarters of the Xi Jinping government is extremely scared, something bad is about to happen, and it is highly likely that China's largest dam will burst. Ladies and gentlemen, China state media last night unexpectedly spoke bitterly about the Three Gorges Dam implying that China's largest dam will break up to 95.6%. Chinese media have said that flash floods from the upper Yangtze River have continued to pour in in recent days, and it is highly likely that flood pipes will also appear because of torrential rain that continues to pour water from the sky. Fell to the ground of China Facing the above-mentioned dangerous and urgent risk, Xi Jinping's government has now launched five battalions of the People's Liberation Army to strengthen their standing guard 24 hours a day to protect the Three Gorges Dam. Prevent unforeseen events from occurring. China's Dyke Protection Agency has warned people and local authorities that there is a high possibility of rain. River water rises very quickly, so watch out for flash floods, landslides, pipe floods and especially earthquakes and tsunamis. According to the China Central Hydro Meteorological Center, the country is experiencing record floods and earthquakes in human history, up to 500 mm per hour. According to observers, a total of 31 provinces and cities in China, 28 provinces and cities were submerged in flood water. Houses built up to 10 stories high now only have a top floor that is not flooded. According to a recent statistics, thousands of cars have been swept away by floods. Up to 135 million people in China had to be urgently evacuated, 3,798 houses were blown off and their roofs were blown off. 6,315 houses were swept away by floods. 15,679 houses were severely damaged. Three embankments were broken. Thousands of thousands of people. Hectare of fish farming was swept away. Roads and bridges were submerged. Historical sites and famous tourist areas were also drowned in flood water. And all fruit trees and crops were severely damaged with damage amounting to 99 billion yuan. This has caused China to be extremely sad and depressed. Mother Nature is said to be continuing to punish China. Currently, Xi Jinping's government is very afraid that something bad will happen. In recent days, earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes and flash floods. Tube floods as well as heavy rains have not stopped falling on China's side. Despite those dangers, the head of China, Mr. Xi Jinping is said to have shouted loudly, God has already harmed China. However, many opinions say that if you don't want Mother Nature and God to punish, then Mr. Xi should know how to sit down to pray and repent immediately. Otherwise China will continue to be hit. Submerged in the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, according to experts who study China's history, economy, and politics, all the above bad things and bad things that are engulfing China are caused by one person, that is the head of China, Mr. Xi Jinping. Analysts say that if in the near future the Chinese side will also bring the navy, bring missiles, bring weapons, and bring warships out to the East Sea to exert pressure and wage war with the countries around it, it is inevitable. Mother Nature will punish. Currently, Xi Jinping's government is said to have withdrawn a number of drilling rigs and warships to the Chinese side of Hainan Island for shelter, in order to salvage what nature is causing to the Chinese side. It seems that Mr. She knew his mistake and received a painful blow from Mother Nature, so he withdrew all warships from the East Sea, not to harass or disturb fishing activities, production and exploitation of oil and gas. But analysts also emphasize that, if in the next few weeks, the Chinese side continues to invade the territories, territorial seas and exclusive economic zones of countries in the region, Beijing will still receive a lot of other bad things will happen. Ladies and gentlemen, there is supposedly very bad news when yesterday the China Morning Post, one of the famous newspapers of China, issued a red warning saying that China's largest freshwater lake is about to be destroyed. Shore overflow. 
Authorities in southern China's Jiangxi province have raised the flood warning level to the highest level and warned that the country's largest freshwater lake, as well as the largest in the world, is about to overflow, the Chinese newspaper said. Sure, and this is a very bad signal for the Xi Jinping government. The newspaper said that the Jiangxi provincial government raised the flood response level from level 2 to level 1, the highest warning level in the context of heavy rains that have continued for several days. And according to the Reuters news agency, this response level has warned that disasters such as dam failure or large floods are likely to occur simultaneously in many rivers of the Yangtze tributary. Earlier, China's central television also said that many local authorities also issued dread warnings in areas around Paying Lake. China's largest freshwater lake in Jiangxi province will also be heavily flooded, and the water level in the lake has exceeded the red warning level by up to 4 meters. This is the water level never seen in the history of the largest freshwater lake in this Yangtze area. On the evening of the previous day, heavy rain continued to occur, pushing the water level on the Yangtze River flowing through Paying District and the Three Gorges Dam continued to exceed the red alert level by 3 to 4 meters, exceeding the record level set by the previous day. Recorded in the historic Great Flood in 1998, that Great Flood claimed 3,000 Chinese lives. The government of Jiangju District, an island on the Yangtze River, has appealed to people aged 18 to 60 to assist in flood and storm response due to a lack of manpower, strengthening dams and dikes. Also yesterday, the Central Meteorological Center of China continued to issue a level 3 flood warning and heavy rain warning in many provinces such as Sichuan, Chongqing, Hubei, Hunan, and Wuhan. During the weekend, the center recommends localities to be on high alert for flash floods, landslides, earthquakes, and midflows and urges people to avoid outdoor activities. Meanwhile, the Jiangsu provincial government in the Yangtze River Delta warned of flood level 4, the level of red alert. Earlier, China's Ministry of Emergency Management said that 141 people were dead and missing, 30.2 million people were affected by floods in 227 provincial areas, more than 1.7 million people had to be evacuated. Emergency 22,000 houses were demolished with direct economic losses amounting to 105 billion yuan, equivalent to both 11 billion US dollars, and this is one of the most terrible losses in history. When destroyed by nature Many opinions say that, in the last days of July and early August, heavy to very heavy rainfall will directly affect 31 provinces and cities of China. The international newspaper said the new heavy rain caused more flooding along the Yangtze River which is blocked by the Three Gorges Dam, forcing hundreds of thousands of people to evacuate in two provinces Anhui and Jiangxi. Parts of seven provinces along the Yangtze River experienced heavy rains, one of the heaviest in China's history. The first wave of floods hit many areas in Sichuan, Chongqing, and Hubei provinces and forced hundreds of people to evacuate the country at dawn, Xinyuan News Agency quoted him as defending. Fong assistant director of the Center for Communication and Coordination of Infrastructure of the Three Gorges Dam. He said he rejected speculation that the flood discharge at the Three Gorges Dam built on the Yangtze River, which flows through the town of Sanduping in Hubei province, caused flooding in the city and surrounding areas. Fong said that some cities were heavily flooded after heavy rains defeated the drainage systems in those localities, not because of the floods from the Yangtze River or the discharge from the Three Gorges Dam. According to the National Hydro Meteorological Center, heavy rain will continue to fall in the southern part of this country in the next one to two weeks, and the risk of flooding is up to 95%, suggesting that agencies and departments, the industry as well as the people must be very vigilant and vigilant. According to China's irrigation experts, currently, the water level of over 300 large and small rivers in China is above the red alert level by due to 4 meters, and the risk of rising water will continue for a few days. Next, because the sky is constantly overcast and dark leading to heavy rains that continue to pour down the rivers of China and the risk of the Three Gorges Dam breaking is great. And news related to that situation, we will continuously update and send you the most accurate and latest information. And this program we would like to pause here. Wishing you all good health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. So preview our news segment on show March the end of the program from 22 hours channel thank you and all of you for paying attention please leave your comment and feedback in the comment section of this video so that we can respond promptly